was just telling Jane, I loved the film last night. It was oh, great, great fun to watch at the premiere with you guys last night. Talk about my gateway to Jane Austen was Sense and Sensibility. Mm -hmm. What's your gateway book to Jane Austen? Uh, Pride and Prejudice, uh, Emma, Northanger Abbey, yeah. the whole lot. We, we studied them at yeah, school, and then them. I just kept reading them and, and then ended up buying a house in Bath and, you know, purchasing the first edition <laughs> of all of her <laughs> work. So, I, yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a close to, to Kerry Russell. I, 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 you know, I didn't do it in, in a small bed sit. I, I did a, a huge house. I went all the way. <laughs> I, think, I think my answer would be definitely, uh, I think Mansfield Park might have been one of, the, one of the first books I read of Jane Austen's. I was reading everything, though. I was really into, like, South American literature, and I sort of went off into this whole, like, strange <laughs> land. But I did come back now and then to Jane Austen. <laughs> Well, well, and then I just love the wit of this movie. Your body movements as you're running and flitting <laughs> away are hysterical. Is there a favorite moment or a favorite line that just stuck sticks in your head and you kind of replay after, after the film is ended? I think knowing that Jennifer's about to laugh when she's talking about the pooping, like the <laughs> in the <laughs> in the potty, the chamber pot, and she's yeah. talking about how you you're not meant to use them. I I just see that she's a very naughty Jennifer on set. Like whenever she was off camera, she would do silly things to play with you, shall we say, <laughs> politely. And she's just so fun to work with. I think you see that naughtiness in an actor's eyes and you come to recognize it. And I think that's one of, one of those moments that every time I see that scene, I'm like, there it is. I think for me, the funniest part was something that nobody knows, which is that the maid that was standing behind me gesticulating and, you know, mm -hmm. stealing my thunder at all times is actually my sister in real life. Oh, she really? I'm not an actress at all. And Tarusha saw her and said, I want her in the movie. And I, you know, I wanted to play the head of the ugly maid. So my sister and I would go to work every day and, you know, they'd take her into the ugly trailer. And, they make that phone call to your sister. And, and she, you know, she, I said, don't get depressed. You've got a paycheck. <laughs> and a cup of tea, and she used to hang out with us. And my favorite moment was when they did the uh, the theatre sequence. And she goes, "Has anyone seen my sheep?" And my sister's, you know, dressed as, <laughs> as a sheep there, and goes, "Bleat," you know, with a black nose. And uh, that, that was line. that one line. I thought it was one of the funniest so, things. I agree with you on that. Yeah, she was. Hysterical. What was it like then to have your sister on set with you? That's... Well, it was so much fun for me because you know we got to hang together, and she was you know great oh, fun for wonderful. everybody. She she's was great. Such a lovely lady. And we used to take Jennifer Coolidge out for dinner every night, so that was also really interesting. <laughs> Okay, you were looking after Jennifer, We looked after Jennifer. You? That was sort of uh, part of our mission, too. And uh, it was just so much fun for my, you know, to see my sister being an actress. And she'd never been able to do that. And, and that was, you know, amazing for me. Oh, that's, that's absolutely fabulous. I love that story. So I, I love, she has a quote here from Jane Austen, if you don't mind. A lady's imagination is very rapid. It jumps from admiration to love, from love to matrimony in a moment. And I thought that kind of sums up the overtone of this film. Right. What are your thoughts on that comment? Because I, I don't know that I agree. I, I agree. my character agrees with that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lady Amelia, I think she goes from seeing somebody to matrimony. I think that's how she goes. She's very, very quick and very, very immersed in her experience um, to the point where I think she's sort of forgotten what's really happening on the outside world until that, till her last scene when she's leaving with Carrie. Carrie Russell's character, Jane, I think she's fully into that, that <laughs> quote. Well, I mean, Aust Austin ladies, of course, um, really didn't have a choice because they were never allowed to be alone. They couldn't date. I mean, the only thing they could do is have furtive glances and <laughs> share letters. And, and, I mean, basically, you know, mum would be watching, making sure that you got married off. And uh, there was only so much dowry. So it was incredibly important, you know, being, being admired and taken by the right man was probably your most important thing you ever mm -hmm. did in your life. You certainly weren't going to have a career. Right, right, and certainly all before 30, and for goodness and, sakes. And then, and then you were supposed to, you know, propagate and have some children and, and right. do all of that, probably not even look after them, have nannies mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, wet nurses, is that what they were? Yes, yeah, yeah, wet nurses. So Jane in the film loves Austin Land. I'm a fan of Disneyland, personally. If you oh, could right. bring any, any book or whatnot to life in real life, what would your land be? Oof, good question. Well, you know, I, I think I really actually like the idea of, of Austin Land. <laughs> I kept saying to Stephanie and, and, and Jerusha, I said, I think someone should do this. I think this was, actually would work because I think people are obsessed with Englishness. Oh, yeah. And I, I don't think English Englishness was any more English than in the Austin era, the whole Regency thing. I mean, the, the men were, you know, absolutely magnificent and dressed like peacocks. And the women were all sort of heaving bosoms and... Um, you know, it, it, it was a very glamorous era, wasn't it? Very glamorous. So I, I, I'd, st I'd stick with Austin go, and go myself. Austin. <laughs> I think I would go for oh, something exotic, something I've never experienced before. So maybe uh, 
something to do with, I want to say Peru. <laughs> I don't know why. Peruvian. I'm settling with the Peru land. <laughs> or, ooh, or if I was to go with something slightly more, um, uh, some, something to do with movies, maybe something to do with Christopher Guest. So maybe Christopher Guest land. That could be fun. If we're on a Jennifer Coolidge <laughs> theme, I would I'm love to be in there. something something to do that. Yeah, that would be awesome. I think one of the crazy things is when, when you do as many period movies as I've done, I mean, like, I, I've been Marie Antoinette at, in Versailles and with my actual children playing the royal children. So I've already been to French Revolution land, actually, twice. I did it with the Scarlet Pimpernel as well. I was going to well. say more than once, I, too. I did right. spend seven years, you know, being in the Western. So I've done the Western on the horse. Yeah. With, yeah. I've, so, I've, you know, I've, when you're an actress and you get to do those things, you actually get to live those lives. So yeah. that's why I think the whole concept of Austin Land is so wonderful because I think for the average person, you, you, you don't know what it's like to be dressed up and do that. And to actually see it through the eyes of, of these characters that you can relate to, you just go, wow, that's what it's yeah. like. There's nothing quite like having a course of done after. There you go. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I, thank you. I agree. I think Austin Land would be kind of a lot of fun. <laughs> it would be. I think we may see.